I'm for buy your boat, buy your buy your buy your boat. I did not tell him, I did not tell him. One coin each. I'll buy. I did not tell him. One coin for two. Nah, the two coins. Yeah, he's gonna chop me shine. No man, you know this. Like this, like this. My guy, calm down. Me shine the hungry. Collect one. I only one way to collect. I like your shit, man. I like your shit. Did you just see that? Did you see that? Imagine if every transaction, financial transaction made in this world, was done with a coin instead of the traditional currency we are used to how do you think it's going to be like well we already have things like that now but just think about it calm down first let's sit down and talk about it all right so now we're calm let's get to business. so cryptocurrencies there's a lot you need to know about them but first all you need to know is that a cryptocurrency is a virtual currency virtual meaning it's not physical it's just there online and it's a means of sending money to people all around the world so you can design can define cryptocurrency as a currency which is secured by cryptography and is used for secure financial transactions all around the world so you may ask yourself how did cryptocurrencies come about let's go back to history a long time ago so let's talk a bit about the history of cryptocurrencies well everything started with an american crypto cryptographer called david chow he said to send and receive and process financial transactions using cryptography because he's a cryptographer and he found out that there were a lot of advantages because there weren't limitations from banks and he could send them anonymously to people and at a point cryptocurrencies became popular so in 2009 satoshi nakamoto also japanese or asian cryptographer invented bitcoin the bitcoin we all know and worship and adore today it's really popular and at a point bitcoin started to rise in value and other altcoins were invented too like ethereum litecoin solana and all the coins that give us financial independence today so that's the history of bitcoin Let's now go back to how cryptocurrencies work. Okay, so now we're going to talk about how cryptocurrencies actually work, how the whole thing works. But before we get to that, if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is Blaze channel. We basically do tech reviews here. I have a lot of videos on phones, videos, and I want to start adding topics, tech topics like this one. So subscribe to the channel and hit on post notifications down there. It's right there in case for future updates. So we're talking about cryptocurrencies. So cryptocurrencies make use of a decentralized system. What does that mean? You know, the way the CBN has authority over the Naira and how it should be used? Well, that means it's centralized, meaning there is a governing body in charge of the Naira and even the US dollar and all country currencies. But in a cryptocurrency, there is no actually any body or any organization or board in charge. So it's a decentralized system and there's no one placing taxes or imposing any laws on anyone. So it's a very nice way of doing financial transactions now cryptocurrencies have made it possible for a lot of people to amass millions and if possible billions of dollars without having to work too hard like physically or stressing or going through all the founding of a company and loss and profits they were just lucky enough to buy bitcoin when it first came out and held it for its value and now it has rewarded them so now let's talk about how the whole crypto everything works we're going to answer how people make money from cryptocurrencies later so basically i know a lot of people still don't trust cryptocurrencies bitcoin and the rest even though they are very popular and they have actually seen that a lot of people have made money from it but after this video i think you're going to go from crypto noob to crypto semi pro not really pro so let's say now i have this pen the way concept the concept of money if i have this pen and the central bank says anyone with the bearer of this pen has fifty thousand naira it means that every single person who goes to purchase an item with this pen will be able to buy things worth of fifty thousand naira and if he buys anything worth less he'll still be given a balance of the money remaining so that's basically how cryptocurrencies work because there is no centralized system let's say if this is a bitcoin and the value is around a thousand dollars it means that every single person with one bitcoin has a thousand dollars in his possession now the only disadvantage with this system is that since there is no centralized system controlling it the value of these amounts can fluctuate unlike currencies that are centralized for example if i have a hundred um, naira or a hundred dollar notes the value can't really fluctuate the only thing that can change is the amount of stuff you can buy but we always know it's going to be forever a hundred naira 
but what bitcoin can be worth a thousand dollars today and tomorrow it can be worth sixty thousand dollars those of us who follow coins have noticed that in the recent times two three days ago the bitcoin has risen to over 60 to 64 thousand dollars so that's how cryptocurrencies are actually valued so how they basically work let's say there is a ledger somewhere somewhere i'll tell you where it is later that's keeping record of all financial transactions in the crypto world so once i let's say want to transfer a bitcoin to someone on my own part of the ledger is going to say minus 100 btc and on that person's part is going to say plus 100 btc now this ledger is a central ledger and is being updated by thousands if not millions of computers around the world simultaneously so immediately you say minus so 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 bitcoin or a thousand bitcoin at a particular place every single computer that's updating the ledger records that particular transaction as minus this way and plus this way so that makes cryptocurrencies almost 100 percent safe almost because if you're talking about the security of cryptocurrencies we'll come to that later but the fact that every single thing can be updated simultaneously means that the security of cryptocurrencies is high but we all know that everything can be 100 percent secure but that's basically how a cryptocurrency works. So every single time you see someone saying, I have bought a crypto or I sold a coin or I traded or swapped a coin, it's just simply people moving what seems to be addresses, addresses transferring certain tokens or coins to each other. The value of that particular coin is then assigned to the owner of or whoever possesses that particular coin. And that's how the person gets his or her money. So let's say, you want to send money to someone but there's no actually any direct route you can just tell the person to send you his wallet address he can send some amount of bitcoin or any stable currency to the person and the person can just simply cash it out and that's money you send someone money to someone so you can see the idea and why cryptocurrencies are really really getting rampant now because they actually make transactions easier very fast without any regulations and from any external bodies and people can actually get money if they pay attention to cryptocurrencies so now let's talk about the concept of bitcoin mining or mining of cryptocurrencies like you said now you may ask yourself is you may ask yourself if you say that the cryptocurrency is a decentralized system meaning there's nobody in charge of it then how how is it that the ledger is updated? It can't be AI that's updating it. There are people in charge. Even if it's AI, there are people in charge of the AI. Well, now, that's where the so-called mining of cryptocurrencies or Bitcoin mining comes into place. These are basically people that dedicate tons of electricity and computer hardware to updating the ledger all around the world. They spend thousands of dollars burning electricity to update the ledger and to make sure that every single transaction is recorded simultaneously around the world making all transactions secure accurate and on time now you may ask yourself how did these people get their rewards blah 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 why would they say um, dedicate their hardware and money to this well when people mine cryptocurrencies most especially bitcoin because that's the most popular most valuable some bitcoins are actually created out of the blue i still don't understand how that works i won't lie to you but they are created and those who mine the cryptocurrencies are rewarded with those bitcoins so now let's talk about trust remember i said by the time you watch my video you're going to be able to trust the whole crypto system and you can start putting your money into some cryptocurrencies well calm down first let's talk about how secure bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are for your information other coins are called altcoins any coin apart from bitcoin ethereum litecoin and the rest so let's talk about how secure they are well remember when i said almost almost well you know the guys called hackers they don't let us rest in every platform both games the internet financial transactions and they've come to, to cryptocurrencies well there have been some crypto scams that were able to prove that cryptocurrencies are not 100 percent safe but they are very very safe well in august 2021 hackers were able to move about 600 million dollars from i think a polling network or so and they eventually returned the funds part of it but that just proves and there have also been other cryptocurrency scams 
that took place um, due to hackers. But those ones majorly happen on large um, blockchain networks and also on non-secure um, cryptocurrency networks. So I think anytime you have to trade bitcoins or or cryptocurrencies generally, it's better to do it on a very, very legit and trusted platform to avoid getting scammed. So that means that if you're doing or trading cryptocurrencies on very, very legit and trusted platforms, you're very sure of secure financial transactions without hackers and the rest disturbing your phones. Because I know how hard it is for you to dedicate your time to mining or trading or waiting for a coin you've had for a while to rise in value and all of a sudden you just stuff has moved it's very frustrating so, i think this is where i'll be stopping for now if you're interested in this particular type of videos on the channel if you like these tech topics please um put your comments down i would like to see them